Welcome to Carefree IT TV. Today we'll be talking about out of office replies in the Microsoft Office Outlook 2010. Uh, how we create an auto reply, manage it for the internal and external messages, and create rules to automatically forward your incoming messages to the designated contacts who may be responsible for completing your tasks in your absence. Let's say. Um, Okay, this is my Outlook. I go to File, Automatic Replies, and here I have, okay, this is my default, do not send automatic replies. Just in case you wanna set it for a future date, you can send it through, only send during this time range. Um, and if you want it to be in effect immediately, you can just uncheck this option. Let's say we want to set it for October 7th to October 11th and from let's say 9 a.m. so anything that comes after let's say 8 30 a.m. and up to Friday 5 p.m. and you can type uh, if you want different messages for your inside organization and outside your organization you can do that uh, type in the message that goes to the inside your organization that means you to your colleagues and outside if um, to your clients or maybe to your contacts so you can pick them uh, this is for anyone outside your organization and this is for the contact list that is available in your outlook so to your uh, contacts uh, let's see Let's type in a message. Hi, I will be on vacation from October 7th to October 11th. And uh, you can keep the same message for outside your organization. And you can say OK. And that, that will be uh, with re respect to October 7th on to October 11th. So this will be the message that will be sent to every message that you receive in your Outlook. Just in case you want to change this message and you want, you have uh, designated certain tasks to certain people in your absence to handle those. Uh, what you can do is you can set up rules and forward your uh, incoming email to the concerned persons we will see that in few minutes and let's say uh, the message we type here is uh, thank you for your email i am on vacation so you are telling them that you are on vacation but your email is being forwarded and being handled by the concerned person from October 7th to October 11th your email is forwarded to the concerned authority you will get a response from him so thanks so that way you're telling your clients that their email is being taken care of and somebody from your organization will be taking care of the work for uh, on your behalf and contacting them and in now we can set up the rules let's see how we do that you click rules you say add rule now here from you can type in the client's e address if you want some uh, like particular client uh, email to be sent to a particular colleague of yours or to uh, move it to a particular folder that's how we let's see how we do it let's say from abc at xyz company dot com and you want this to be forwarded to let's say stephanie and you can pick up your contact list and you can just simply say Stephanie. 
so it it will go to stephanie during your absence and you just say okay so anything that comes from this company will directly go to stephanie alternatively uh, if you want this to be moved to a particular folder or copied to the particular folder uh, you can share the folders between your colleagues and uh, please refer to our uh, outlook folders video for this uh, the details on this so, uh, what you can do is you can share your folders with your colleagues and you can copy this email to that folder that way your colleague is also able to see this email uh, and it remains in your inbox as well alternatively you can simply move it to the folder so that way it's not sitting in your inbox anymore but it is being taken care of and in your inbox since it is not there so you know that it has been taken care of and you can move it to any particular folder we have uh, folders from tutorials say finance or maybe marketing depending on what kind of email it is okay Besides that, you can specify a subject, for example, anything that comes with the word sales as a subject in it, you can do the same actions, like you can move it to the folder, you can copy it to the folder, you can forward it to some person, same way you can do it for the marketing, depending on what kind of scenario it is. So you can specify the rules based on these conditions or situations and the uh, that way your email is being handled by the rules of the outlook in your absence so let's say okay and you are all set from october 7th onwards your emails will be automatically replied by outlook for on your behalf thank you for watching carefree it if you have any doubts uh, you can simply write to us or email us at info at carefreeit.ca uh, in, your, in our next series, we will be talking about 10 quick tips in Outlook. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Have a good day.